excited, I feel like shouting. Wonderful this time of year. Yeah, I wish it was Hearth's Warming Eve every day. There's so much to look at. I feel like my darn eyes are gonna pop right out of my head. I have an idea. Let's play I Spy with my little eyes we walk. I'll go first. I spy an eight foot candy cane. I spy a snow pony. I spy some pony eating a gingerbread house. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that Princess Celestia chose us to put on the most important play of the season. Do you guys know what an honor this is? For all of us? Oh, I wish she hadn't honored me quite so much. I can't go on stage. I don't want every pony looking at me. Fluttershy, darling, there's nothing to feel nervous about. No? Of course not. All across Equestria, ponies are preparing their own pageants for Hearth's Warming Eve in their own towns. It's tradition. So you're saying they'll be too busy to come to our play? Well, no. We're in the Cantalot pageant, the biggest, most important production in all of Equestria. A lot of ponies will come to watch us. A lot? Hundreds. Hundreds? <gasps> Maybe even thousands! <gasps> oh, my hair! Applejack, be a dear and shut those windows, will you? <sighs> Rainbow Dash! Rainbow Dash! <sighs> Thank you! Thank you! It's a reenactment of the founding of Equestria. It's not the Rainbow Dash show. Well, it should be the Rainbow Dash show. I'm the star! Fluttershy, you've got to come out of there. Curtain in two minutes. Twilight, let me handle this. My hair. Hey, yes! The Hearts Warmony pageant is about harmony and friendship. Shut the window! Once upon a time, long before the peaceful rule of Celestia, and before ponies discovered our beautiful land of Equestria, ponies did not know harmony. It was a strange and dark time, a time when ponies were torn apart by hatred. <gasps> I know, can you believe it? During this frightful age, each of the three tribes, the Pegasi, the Unicorns, and the Earth Ponies, cared not for what befell the other tribes, but only for their own welfare. In those troubled times, as now, the Pegasi were the stewards of the weather. But they demanded something in return, food that could only be grown by the Earth Ponies. The Unicorns demanded the same. In return for magically bringing forth day and night. And so, mistrust between the tribes festered, until one fateful day, it came to a boil. And what prompted the ponies to clash? It was a mysterious blizzard that overtook the land and toppled the tribe's precarious peace. The normally industrious earth ponies were unable to farm their land. Reason. The home of the Pegasi fared no better. The Pegasi were hungry. And the unicorns were freezing and hungry. Even the unicorn's magic was powerless against the storm. Each tribe blamed the others for their suffering. And the angrier every pony grew, the worse the visit became. And so it was decided that a grand summit would be held to figure out a way to cope with the blizzard. Each tribe sent their leaders. Daughter of the Unicorn King, Princess Platinum. Ruler of 
the Pegasi, Commander Hurricane. And lastly, leader of the Earth Ponies, <laughs> Chancellor Puddinghead. Perhaps the three tribes could finally settle their differences and agree on a way to get through this disaster. All I want to know is why the Earth Ponies are hogging all the food. Us? We're not hogging all the food, you are! Oh wait, you're right, it's us. Well, it's only because you mean old Pegasus are making it snow like crazy! For the hundredth time, it's not us! We're not making it snow. It must be the unicorns. They're doing it with their freaky magic. <gasps> How dare you! Unlike you Pegasi ruffians, we unicorns would never stoop to such a thing. Hummerfuck! <laughs> well, if you non-Earths aren't gonna stop using your weirdo powers to freeze us all, then I'm just plumb out of ideas. What a shocker! An Earth Pony with no ideas! Commander Hurricane, please cease with the insults! You're not the boss of me, your royal snootiness! I beg your pardon! I am a princess! I won't be spoken to that way! Well, I'm leaving first! No, I'm first! And the blizzard raged on. So the summit of the tribes did not turn out as well as hoped, and the three leaders returned home to lick their wounds and basically complain. Attention! Well, aren't you curious about how it went? Oh, uh, Commander Hurricane, sir, how did it go, sir? Horribly! Those other tribe leaders are so disrespectful! Don't they realize that we are a mighty tribe of warriors and should not be crossed? We have got to break ranks with those weak foes. Clover uh, <laughs> the Clever, I need you! Yes, Your Majesty. Did the other pony tribes see reason as I predicted? Those other tribes are impossible! I, for one, can no longer bear to be anywhere near those lowly creatures. The unicorns are noble and majestic. We will no longer consort with the likes of them. Wouldn't it have been easier to use a door, Chancellor? Maybe for you, Smart Cookie, but I am a Chancellor. I was elected because I know how to think outside the box, which means I can also think inside the chimney. Can you think inside a chimney? Uh... I didn't think so. Ugh. Oh my gosh, hold on to your hooves. I am just about to be brilliant! That'd be a first. I have decided that the Earth Ponies are gonna go it alone! Oh, so you mean the other tribes didn't come around? Shoot, I really thought we could get through to them if we... Don't worry about them. We're the ones with all the food, right? Uh, actually, we're all out. Fine! We'll have to go somewhere new where we can grow some new food. And with me as our fearless leader, what could go wrong? Where should I start? The point is... We, we must, must find, find a, a new, new land. land! Come on, Private Pansy. Let's get a move on. Hup, one, hup, two. <laughs> get a hold of yourself, Private. We cannot let anything distract us from the mission at hand. To find, and if necessary, to conquer a new land. Conquer, sir? You never know where enemies might be lurking. Uh, I don't see any enemies, Commander. Just snow. Aha! Who's that? Okay, this is getting old. Walking for about five minutes, Your Highness. Oh, I never imagined finding a new land would be so hard, but it'll all be worth it. Don't you agree? I actually think that the three tribes could have tried harder. Stop! What's wrong? That is what's wrong. Your Highness, it's just a stream. We can cross it easily. I refuse to get my gown wet. I have no intention of arriving at my new land looking like a bedraggled earth pony, or worse yet, a rough and tumble pegasus. I, for one, have no intention.
intention of stooping down to their level. On the other hand, I have no trouble watching you stoop down. Ugh. And do watch the gown, darling. It's worth more than all of the books in your library. Yes, yes! This is definitely the right direction. It feels like we're going in circles. Well, that's impossible. Are you suggesting that I'm reading the map wrong? Absolutely not, your chancellorness. It's just that there are holes in the map and... Of course! How else could I see where I was going? Yeah, uh... Or talk! I need to be able to talk! I mean, how would we survive if I just suddenly shut up? Heaven forbid that should happen, your chancellorship. <laughs> it's just that the map is also upside down. I got a news flash for you, Cookie. The Earth is round. There is no up or down. You're right! It's such a relief to me that you're in charge of this map. Relief? You don't need relief. If any pony needs relief around here, it's me. I'm a chancellor. I'm a big shot. You're just my, uh, uh my... Uh, Secretary. Whatever. You take the map. Well, I enjoy some relief. Yes, Chancellor Puddenhead. And so, each leader encountered obstacles along the way. But eventually, they all arrived in a new and wondrous land. No pony had ever seen paradise before. This is the new land we've been searching for. What a view. I can see my future house from here. I proclaim this new land to be... Pegasopolis. I've never seen such jewels. This ruby is dazzling. This whole land is dazzling. I'm double dazzled! In the name of the unicorns, I hereby dump this land, Unicornia. The air, the trees, the dirt. This dirt is the dirtiest dirt in the whole dirt world! And fertile, too. Perfectly grown food. In the name of the Earth Ponies, I think I'm gonna call this new place a dirt mill. How about Earth? Congratulations to me for thinking of it. We, we found, found our new home. home. I planted my flag first. Did not get to. I planted mine earlier than first. All of you riffraff are trespassing in Unicornia. The name is Pegasopolis. Earth, Pegasopolis, Unicornia. I say we fight for the land. May the best pony win. That's barbaric. Clover the Clever, throw that root into the dungeon. What dungeon? Look, perhaps if we all calm down. I agree. Let's all calm down. I vote for calm. I'll have you court-martialed for insubordination, Private. We settled this on the battlefield. beneath a thick blanket of snow and hard feelings. Instead of beautiful, it was blizzardy. Instead of wonderful, it was wintry. Instead of spectacular, it was snowtacular. Instead of... We get it! Move on! <clears throat> Every pony was forced to seek shelter. They searched high and low. But the only shelter for miles was a cold and desolate cave. And, of course, the three tribes had to share it. And no pony was too happy about that. Please, Commander Hothead. It's Commander Hurricane. <clears throat> Please, Commander, could you just stand back and give me my royal space? You mean like this, Your Highness? Indeed not. You see this invisible line? Private, outline our territory for every pony to see. This real non invisible line? No unicorns or earth ponies are allowed to cross it. This is the sovereign territory of Pegasopolis. Clover the Clever? Uh, smart cookie! I know, I know. What are you doing? Don't go around the rock, go over it. I'm not giving up an inch of territory.
George of the Enemy. That rock is clearly on the Unicornia side of the cave, and it belongs to us. Who knows? There could be jewels inside. I claim this rock for Pegasopolis! Unhand that rock this instant, you scoundrel! Oh, look! You found my rock! I've been looking for it everywhere! Hey! You invaded our territory! Finders keepers loses reapers! That's the last straw! Give me my rock! A royal order! This is our fault. We three tribes. We brought this blizzard to our home by fighting and not trusting each other. Now it's destroying this land, too. And now our bodies will become as cold as our hearts. All because we were foolish enough to hate. Well, I don't hate you. I actually hate Commander Hurricane a lot more than I hate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really hate her. I just really, 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 really dislike her. Well, I don't hate you guys either. Nor do I. No matter what our differences, we're all ponies. I didn't know unicorns could do that. I didn't either. Nothing like this has ever happened before. But I know it couldn't have been just me. It came from all three of us, joined together in friendship. All through the night, the three ponies kept the fire of friendship alive by telling stories to one another and by singing songs, which, of course, became the winter carols that we all still sing today. Eventually, the warmth of the fire and singing and laughing reached the leaders and their bodies began to thaw. And it even began to melt their hearts. The three leaders agreed to share the beautiful land and live in harmony ever afterwards. And together, they named their new land Abrasia!
We should be so honored that Princess Celestia chose us. She must really think we exemplify what good friends are. Uncle Jack, I thought you closed all the windows. Don't blame me. Rainbow Dash should have flown up there and shut it. After all, she's got wings. Why do I always have to do all the high-up chores? Why can't Twilight use her magic for a change? Oh, oh well, come on. goodness sake, stop You know what? I got it. <laughs> <laughs>